Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson, and I still need your sus subscription because I believe that I can travel the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ, but I need your help. Today, a message is on the witch. Yes, the witch. And a lot of people out there that don't believe in witches, but I believe because the Bible say they are witches. He suffer not a witch to live. So 10 reasons how to identify a witch. What? 10 reasons how to identify a W-I-T-C-H. Now, Hollywood might call them warlock, but the Bible call them witches and wizard and in uh, 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 sorcerer. So today is 10 reasons how to identify a witch. Now, this is a W. 10 W's of how to identify a witch. So I'm going to read the death of Jezebel. Yes, the death of Jezebel. But Jezebel is a spirit. Jezebel now in our society is a spirit because Jezebel was a wicked woman. Hey, glory to God. Second King 9th chapter, verse 30 and 33. And it read, And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tied her head and looked out at the window. Glory to God. Verse 10. Hey, glory to God. So, so we see that, not only that, that, that they... And he said, throw her out the window. So they threw her out the window. And some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses. And they drove under her foot. So ten reasons how to identify a witch. The first one, the word they speak because of chanting or speaking about Xing and wishes and fix you an herbal medicine. So the word that comes out of their mouth is how you identify a witch. Listen, listen, my friend. I know the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. And if you have the Holy Spirit, you can discern a witch. Yes, so the word that comes out of their mouth, that's how you identify a witch. Number two, the clothes they wear. Yes, the clothes they wear. Or let's say the lipstick they wear, which is black, and their fingernail polish they wear is black. Now, black is beauty. Hey, glory. But in this sense, black is depict as evil, as depict as Darkness. The Bible says men love darkness rather than light. And the light is the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But witches wear black. Black hat, my friend. Black clothing. Black lipstick and black fingernail polish and black eyeliner. They love to paint themselves in makeup. He glory to God. And we see that how Jezebel, when she appeared through the window, the Bible say that she painted her face and, and tied her hair and looked out the window. So number one, the words they speak. Number two, the clothes they wear. Number three, 95% of witches are women and 5% are men. Let's go to the Bible. First Samuel 28, 8 and 10. It says, so, so Saul despised himself and put on other clothing and left and comforted by two of his men. They came to the woman at night and said, use ritual pit to conjure up for me the one I tell you. Verse 9. But the woman said unto him, Look, you are aware of what Saul have done. He had removed the medium and the magician from the land. Why are you trapping me so you can put me to death? But Saul swore an oath to her by the Lord, and, and surely as the Lord lived, you will not end your guilt 
of matter. So I'm, I'm telling you, my friend, that 95% of the are women. The woman replied, who is this that I should bring up to you? He said, bring me up Samuel. So we see that women, basically, 95% are witches. And 5% of the men are wizards. That's number four. Men are wizards in our society. So they call call intellectual. They are atheists or they are humanists. Because they're intelligent. They don't need God. They say that prove that there is a God. And the Bible is our proof, is our provision of finding our information that God exists. So number four, men are wizards in a society. Number five, the wealthy people or person that, that don't need God but money become their existence. These are the wealthy witches, the wealthy witch. So, if you are wealthy and if you are watching this, you don't need God, you become a witch. Number six, glory to God, those that wishes at night as they see the moonlight or the starlight. These are wishers. They wish upon the stars. Hey, glory to God. Now, now how to identify a witch, my friend, is the word, glory to God, that's number one. I mentioned number one is the word they speak. Number two, the clothing they wear. And three, 95% are women and 5% are men. And number four, glory to God, how men are wizards in our society. And number five, the wealthy people or person, they are witches, wealthy witch. Number six, the, those that worship at, up, upon the stars at night. And seven, those that look out the window at strangers passing by or like the wicked Jezebel that wore out, that thrown out the window because of her wickedness, a heart without regret, a heart without repentance. So, number seven are those that look out the window at passerby. Or look at the window at stars and the moon. These are people that are witches. Number eighth reason, the worshippers of the cultics. As they rise early in the morning or they stay up at night and they think you are sleeping, but you hear them chanting words of another language. My friend, if you are Buddhist, if you are Hinduist, you are a witch. Because Hindu worship the, the, the moon and the stars. And if you are a witch, you worship in the creatures more than the creator, which is God. So these are worshippers. Cultic. They are, they are at night, they are chanting unknown language to demons hey glory to God number ninth reason glory to God these are wicked evilness in their attitude these are people now wicked evilness in their attitude they never you never see them happy always evil evil smile never crack a smile in their face they are so they're Covered with evilness. These are wicked people, my friend. I'm talking about witches. Hey, glory to God. How to identify a witch by the wickedness that they do. They might appear to be nice. But it's like eating an apple, you baby. You see all these worms. Just like a witch. Number 10th person. Number 10th reason. A weird person. A person that, that, that appear weird. They are spooky. They are creep, creepy. Unnatural behavior. They walk alone. They talk alone. They act alone. They are always alone. They don't want to be around, around nobody but themselves. These are the weird people. These are the spooky people. They are the creepy people. These people are unnatural I'm talking about how 
to identify a witch how to identify these people in our society you either a christian or you a witch you yes you are either a christian or you a witch you can't be both my friend that's why i don't believe in christian witch because you can't be lukewarm or or be hot you got to be hot or lukewarm you can't be either or you got to be a Christian or you're a witch. You're either an atheist or you're a believer. You're, you're even on the fence, my friend. So, 10 reasons how to identify a witch. You can identify a witch by the word that they are speaking. They always talk about fixing you. They always talk about, but I'm going to ex you. I'm, I'm going to give you herbal medicine. And the clothes they wear, they're wearing black. They are black, always wearing black clothes. But see the blackness behind me? This is the kind of clothes that they wear, always wear. And then not so much that the, the, the hats. Because witches in our society just don't wear hats anymore. Yes, they look as adorable as, uh, as a peacock. But the intention is evilness. And I know that I say number 10 was a weird person. Yes, witches are weird. They're wacko. These people are worshippers of the occultic movement. If you was in a dorm right now, a, do a dormitory, and you are sleeping, and this person get up and start chanting all these strange things, this person is a wicker witch. Because they chant just like... A person that carry a mat under their armpit, they are chanting to toward demons. Open your mind for what? The Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. I'm not going to empty my mind and get demons into my mind. I'm still going to say, Cedric, how to identify a witch, which is always looking out the window at night time. And they're always staring at the moon and they're staring at the stars. They're at the window because they're trying to trap strangers. My friend, I'm trying to help you to how to identify a witch. And you need the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can detect witches. Hallelujah. It's the, it's the helper. It identifies who are witches in our society. My friend, I'm trying to help you. Life, journey, church, trying to help those that have friends that are witch. You have family members that are witch. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have church members that are witch. Yes. We're living in the time that the devil time is almost up. So he getting many people to become evil. Though they're wearing masses. But you can look beyond the masses and see that this person is a witch. Yes, you might be a witch watching this video right now. Or you might be a witch trying to find out how to identify who a witch on your job. Don't never let someone try to fix you a plate. They don't want to cook, bake a cake for you. And the, and the cake they're trying to bake for you is a German chocolate. Why you can't make me a vanilla cake? Why can you make me a strawberry cake? Why I got to be a, a very dark cake? Because you can't see nothing in the cake when it's dark. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to help you how to identify a witch. And those people that are commenting on my, my life journey show, my friend. Listen, my friend. I'm trying to help those that have that been around people. And you saying, is this person really a witch? Watching this video, it opened your mind to know who are witches around you. My friend, witches go to church. Witches carry the Bible, but they never care. They never crack it open. They're trying to see the simple if it be if it be possible. The Bible says if it be possible, it will fool the elect. But if it be and it's must it's not possible because if you have the Holy Spirit, my friend, you can't be fooled. Because the Holy Spirit is a 
teacher. It will lead you and guide you into all truth. So after watching this video, Father God, bless this person, Lord. Let them have discernment to discern those that labor among them. Oh, Father God, bless this person right now. Oh, God, cover them with your Holy Spirit. Cover them with your blood. And I bind the witches watching this video. Oh, God, save them right now. In the hobble core. In the name of Jesus, oh, God. Cover them with your grace. Cover them with your, hallelujah, Holy Spirit right now. Convict them right now. Arrest them right now. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, I thank you. I praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. After watching this video, I hope you subscribe. And then may God bless you richly is my prayer. Which how to identify a witch.